Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Alexander, and I have an exciting business opportunity that I'd like to share with you today. The business is called Onslow Excursions, and the business mission is to improve the living experience and the reputation of Onslow County. The way that we intend to go about fulfilling this mission is by offering the community with uniquely curated guided tour experiences where customers can learn, discover, and explore the area from the perspective of a seasoned local. Until our business launches, there are currently no tours of this nature, leading to an initial impression and lasting reputation of Onslow County that leaves more to be desired. Newcomers and visitors experience the county primarily from Western Boulevard, but being a local, I know that there is much more tucked away waiting to be explored. The county needs someone to connect with the people in a meaningful way and to open it up to them. The way we intend to open the county is by offering entertaining and educational guided tour experiences, dealing with historical, culinary, and agritourism elements of the area. The business will help transient residents acclimate and discover some of the hidden gems located here in Oslo County. Our product will be a service. It will be a guided tour and it will range from three to five hours. We will use a 15 passenger van to transport our customers around the county and the starting price is going to be $60. This will be all inclusive. This means that if you have any food, drink, or admissions costs along the way, everything will be included. As you can see in the graphic, through the research that we've done, we've decided to divide the county into three separate zones. Upon initial business launch, we will be highlighting a purple northern route and an orange southern route. The eastern route will be something that you can stay tuned for. This will be something that will not be focused on initial business launch, but something to stay tuned for. Now the primary method of generating revenue for this business is by selling tickets directly from our website. However, there is potential for additional revenue through referrals and business partnerships in the future. Being that, our, uh, being that the military is an integral part of the community, we are going to focus on advertising to military, both families and single military. We would also like to open these tours to families of those military that come from other places and visit. We would also like to open the tours to seasonal tourism and anyone else who happens to find themselves in Onslow County. Ultimately, we're welcoming anyone, including Onslow natives. So upon doing research, we actually don't have any direct competition. There are, is no one offering tours of this nature. The closest that we could find is a single marine program. And the way that we are going to differentiate from them is by offering a local focus and all-inclusive pricing. Another competitor is miscellaneous entertainment. Families can go out and engage in other activities on the weekend here in Oslo County. But what we offer is a broader, personal, multi-stop experience. And of course, individual research. When newcomers come to the county, you can use a search browser or other online sources to try to discover things in the area to find. What we do is we offer a guided fast track solution. For funding, we are anticipating needing $16,000 to start this business. Our primary expense is going to be the 15 passenger van. This is a variable cost, but it's going to be between six dollars to $12,000, followed by insurance, marketing, and other administrative business costs. Marketing. We would like to market, we would like to become members of the Chamber of Commerce. Becoming a member of the Chamber of Commerce offers advertising to other members and other business owners in the area. We would also like to partner with real estate agencies. Real estate agents can offer a Welcome to Onslow County tour as part of their package to new home buyers. We would like to advertise at the Jacksonville Airport. This will target our visitors that are flying in. We have the typical business self-promotion of websites, flyer, and business cards. And then we would like to utilize social media and partnerships potentially with MCCS. Please take this slide with a grain of salt as our capital expenses are going to be variable. However, what the main takeaway is that we can operate at a profit. 
So aside from staying tuned to see what the competition outcome is, our business is ready to go. Aside from acquiring a 15 passenger van, we are excited and ready to launch. We anticipate launching the business website June 1st of this year and running our first tour one week after, June 8th. So today you have half of your team in front of you. Once again, my name is Alexander and here's my good friend Tracy. You will have an opportunity to meet him at the awards ceremony. Both of us have spent nearly our entire lives in Onslow County and we are passionate about showcasing the hidden gems that we hold near and dear to our own hearts. These are places we would take our family and friends. These are some of our partners. And at this time, I would like to open the floor to any questions. Thank you. That was a great presentation. Um, I have a question about how you're choosing the destinations yes. um, on the tour. Are I just I guess my concern is that are you providing a well-rounded um, representation of Jacksonville? Are you working with other organizations or other people in the community to do that? Yes, ma'am. I've actually, through the research that I've done to put this presentation together and start the business, I've met with many people in Onslow County, one of which is the director of the Onslow County Museum, as well as uh, members of the Chamber of Commerce. and. Yeah, I have come up with a unique experience, like I said, and I think it is going to be well-rounded. It's going to represent multiple areas of, the, uh, of Jacksonville and Onslow County. Again, targeting culinary, agriculture, and just culture and history in general. Um, I did not put the exact stops today because I didn't want to put, reveal my whole hand of cards. Uh, I would like you to sign up, you know, create some, uh, some mystique, you know, sign up and see what we have to offer but I do believe that it's going to be a well-rounded and interesting experience. Thank you. Um, I, I have questions, but can you, um, I, I'm just curious where you came up with the idea. I think it's unique, but I want to hear your, you. from you why you, why you think it's a, a market. Sure, so again, a little bit about myself to answer that question. I was born in the Naval Hospital. My father was uh, in the military. And so I've come up through the ranks of Onslow County, um, especially Jacksonville. And you know, I, I see, Marines walking down Western Boulevard, um, you know, they're wandering around and kind of aimlessly, but I, I've heard, you know, people come and go from this town often, and um, the reputation can sometimes leave more to be desired of Onslow County. Um, there's nothing to do or that it's boring, but, you know, I have a vested interest in doing this because I'm from here, and when people move on, um, to their next duty station or um, you know families visiting or tourists I want them to remember that you know Onslow County is more than just what they see again from Western Boulevard or really that honestly okay. so awesome I'll reserve my other questions but I'll let Ashley yeah um, <clears throat> I think you I mean you, you hit the nail on the head certainly I think with some of the marketing opportunities that you have certainly connecting with real estate companies um, and and the the um, those in the virtual world won't be privy to maybe what we have here, but I see how you're connecting to some local businesses. I can see some opportunities there. You steering um, clients to those businesses per se, and uh, and I too am an Onslow County native. Okay. And uh, and mm -hmm. one of my first questions was, you know, is the history rich enough here to sustain these type of tours? Because I automatically think about like a Savannah, Georgia, or somewhere where where that's kind of a um, uh, you know, you go there and you have to do that. But when I read some of your descriptions on a couple of these tours, I said, man, I might want to take one of those myself. Uh, that sounds pretty interesting. So, no, I think you've done a great job um, with, with the concept and, and even selling someone who's an Oslo County native who was skeptical uh, Thanks, to sir. start with. You've, you've, you've answered some of my questions today. Thank you. And I just want to make a one quick comment. Uh, some of it is going to take some creative application, uh, some things that you may not have thought of. But we are working with some interesting partners, and um, hopefully, you know, it, it will be enough to pull it into a full tour, and it will be something that can catch your attention. Um, you, you mentioned um, the initial um, investment is going to go to cover um, the van primarily, which would be the, the main source. Yes, sir. Um, have, you, have you thought about um, maybe you can't fill a tour, or, or initially there's not an... Um, Maybe you're building building to get that response. Have you thought of, tried to think of um, alternative means of income and utilizing um, the vehicle or, or the investments you've made in it? So as of right now, I, I actually.